afternoon ladies and gentlemen I'm Meezy69 welcome back to the channel now over the last uh, week and a half or so we have done uh, a couple of episodes where I've been looking at the the strongest tanks and the weakest tanks now I know uh, we're up to tier 8 we are up to tier 8 we've shown tier 8 and we've still got tier 9 and tier 10 uh, to look at but in this video we're going to break up the the weekend or break up the week because the Kampf Panzer 52 has arrived in the shop for the first time yes this tank has only been uh, for, not even for sale it's been in the game uh, once before and it was almost impossible uh, to get the tank it was almost impossible but Wargaming have now bring it back and it is part of uh, more crates uh, so we're going to look at the tank we're going to look at the crates then we're going to decide is it really worth spending the money for the tank or for the crates so there are a couple of different options here you've got the Kampfpanzer 50T 14 crates for £80 yeah £80 for a chance to get the tank and not even uh, a you might not even get it you might not even get it for 80 pound um also you got a couple there three for nine pound i mean this one's not bad nine pound if you get the tank then it's a bonus then it is a bonus of course um the best thing i think about these crates is they are charms so of course once you get to a certain amount of charms you will be guaranteed the tank um, so what of course there are of other bundles as well that you could buy for uh, gold I believe uh, I think it's down here so you got the Kampfpanzer 50T 12 crates for 35,000 gold <coughs> excuse me I, I, if I do apologize if I cough or sneeze I've literally got back from holiday uh, from uh, Tenerife with my wife a couple of days ago and I've got the, the biggest cold ever. It's so horrible. So I do apologize if I sound different or if I cough or sneeze. Um, so 35,000 gold for 12 crates. Now, I believe you need, is it, it's normally 25 charms. So that's going to cost you 70,000 gold for 24 crates. Then, of course, you're going to need to buy one more. Uh, so, yeah, that's a lot of money, guys. That is a lot of money. Uh, to guarantee the tank so is the tank actually worth it is is the tank any good is it worth it now i do actually own this tank already uh so i got it a ages ago actually i think i got it for uh, christmas or something like that from uh wargaming so thank you very much wargaming <laughs> so the tank itself is actually really good. Now, before they buffed the Leopard uh, 1, this was the highest DPM medium tank in Tier 10. Um, it is basically, I, I reckon it is a Leopard 1 on steroids. That's my a personal opinion. I think, obviously, the Leopard 1 is my favourite tank in the game. I absolutely love the Leopard 1. However, the Kampfpanzer 50T plays like the leopard one is like the leopard one except for it does have some turret armor 245 millimeters <coughs> excuse me uh, 245 millimeters on your turret and 120 on your hull uh, so the dpm you've got 3420 but i am running it with calibrated shells that gives it 330 heat pen so i do recommend running it with that calibrated shells uh if you don't run it with calibrated shells and you run it with the rammer you're looking at almost 3700 dpm but i personally would run it with the uh, the calibrated shells uh so yeah i mean it's a nice tank and we're going to get into a game i do apologize if i'm an absolute noob we are playing live uh, as i'm playing so because of that i've got my microphone connected uh, so you won't hear any game sounds either <coughs> uh, get a grip meji uh, so yeah I, I really feel like crap i'm at work as well uh, so it hasn't helped uh, but you know we've just got to man up and deal with it and that's how we always uh, deal with being unwell is just get on with it there's nothing anyone can do uh, so just get on uh, so we're going to have just <coughs> we're just going to have one game here and um, just to show you what the tank is like and um, and my thoughts on the tank and at the end we will uh, decide whether the tank is actually worth uh, trying to get with that gold or with the course the money so <laughs> good start i mean the enemy team i'm not expecting them to go this way they only have one medium 
Now, already capping base C. No idea what that Centurion's doing. Uh, so, because they've only got one medium, I'm going to go straight towards base A. And I'm going to go and try and get the base uh, because, of course, they are. Uh, they have capped base C. And if I sit here, at least I should be able to spot any tanks coming around. And I should just be able to back up in time. But you can see my team are with me. There is some, guy, uh, some guys with me. There's an E4. I don't want to see an E4. Back up, back up. Luckily, he is not looking at me. Now, with the DPM, I will be able to uh, absolutely bully this guy if I'm able to hit him. Now, the thing with the E4, yes, he's hiding, but he's got that hatch on top, which he will not be able to hide. So, hopefully, we're going to get one more shot. Uh, yeah, the accuracy doesn't seem as nice as uh, as the leopard so we're gonna try it yep it's not really paying off for us at the minute <coughs> So if he's not looking, we're going to go for the hatch again. And yeah, we're just going to bully this guy, completely bully this guy. So hopefully we should be able to get a bounce on our turret, even with the E4. If we're moving, uh, the E4 is going to struggle to uh, to penetrate our turret, especially when we're in a hold down situation. Uh, so I think we could actually wait for this guy. Uh, even if we take the shot, there we go, he misses his shot, we're now going to be able to rush this guy and we should easily be able to take him out, so not a good move there for the, uh, the, the E4, bad, bad move, so now the Pajetto is up there, he is, uh, he's still full hit points, it's now a 4 versus 6, so it's not looking good for our team, now I'm going to ignore that guy because I want to get the T30, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus Christ, I really want to clear this T30. So am I going to go? Yes, I am able to clear clear, uh, clear that guy. Now, we're just going to sit here at the minute. You know, oh, come on, dude. Come on, Centurion. You're going to get shot. Uh, so it is a four versus four. <coughs> four versus four. We should be able to clear this budget. Oh, I'm still full hit points at the minute. So all is good. I'm probably not going to be able to get the shot on him. Uh, this guy is going to probably take him out. And there he goes. So it's now a three versus three. Now, the grill up there. He's pretty much uh, a one shot, but I'm going to go for this yo. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to win this game. Actually, it's going to be very tight. So there goes the grill. It's now a two versus two. I could just rush this guy. I could just rush this guy and uh, I'm probably going to get shot. There's one shot. He's going to have two shells or one shell left. So I should be able to clear him and I need to push this guy and I have to clear him. I have to just be careful on what I'm shooting. Make sure I'm aiming and there's the 30 B, uh, 50 B, so I'm just going to go around and uh, we're going to get this shot and we are going to take him out. Ah, that's not good, not good, not good. So I should be able to do this guy. I know this guy's got four shells. <laughs> that was bad. That was very bad. Um, I'm hoping with my DPM I should be able to uh, just about do it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to get a couple of bounces here. I'm going to have to. And I think he's got one shot. He might be able to take me out. He does. He takes me out. So well played for the AMX uh, 50B there. Bad decision for me. And uh, you can see it's you can get bounces, but it is uh, it is what it is. It's it's basically it is like a leopard. It is like a leopard, and we still easily managed to do 4,500 damage. So not the best of battles, but it still showcases what this tank can actually be capable of. And to be honest, we could have easily won that game. Uh, I probably made us lose that game, but it is what it is. Um, do I think it is worth the money right now? I don't. Now, nice camouflage there, 5k, should we get it? Why not? We will get the legendary camouflage, 5k, but it is. So, the Cap Panzer 50T, right now, I probably wouldn't go for it. Even though it is a fantastic tank with fantastic DPM, um, all the stats are really good, I honestly just wouldn't go for it right now. Uh, wait, it might be back. Uh, I think it's going to be another one of those T22s uh, because it is a very strong tank, and the T22 doesn't come for sale often uh, for gold, but <coughs> uh, eventually it might come back for gold it'll probably come for about twenty-five thousand gold next uh, but we will see but right now i probably would not buy this tank at the moment it is just too expensive so i hope you enjoyed today's video sorry for the coffin um <coughs> Oh my god. Uh, so I do apologise for all the coughing. I'm not well, so just bear with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meadsy, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.